Okay guys, that's it. Fried crappie fillets, fresh fried okra, and then dirty rice. This is a proper southern meal. Four nice fillets. That is going to be a great dinner. We have one cup of yellow cornmeal, one cup of all-purpose flour, not the self-rising flour, half a teaspoon of chipotle chili, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of lemon pepper, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder. In a big bowl, you're gonna take and combine all your ingredients, the cornmeal, the flour, you're going to want to just use a quarter of the cup of flour. Try to reserve a quarter just so that you can dry the fillets off. There we go, that's about a quarter of a cup. Chipotle. Onion powder. Lemon pepper, just to give it that zing with that citrus flavor. And then your garlic powder. Now for this, you can place some salt inside there, but just salt it to taste. You don't want to really overpower the taste of the filet with a bunch of salt. This is sea salt right here. Take it and just mix that around. There we go, thoroughly mixed. You're gonna use one egg for the egg wash. You're gonna beat it really quick, not too, you don't wanna to go too long on it and uh, completely ruin the egg. There you go, lightly beaten egg. Heat your pan over medium high heat. You want just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. There we are. That's about a good quarter of an inch. I'm gonna heat that to 375 degrees, anywhere from 375 to around 400. Take our chilled fish fillets, and we are going to pat those guys down dry. So I've got some paper towels right here. I'm lay them out. The only reason why you're gonna make sure that they're completely dry is so that when they go into the egg wash, the egg will stick to them this out the way. I'm going to put it inside the flour. Make absolutely sure that this thing is dry. <laughs> Shake that excess off. Go into the egg wash. Now that egg is really going to stick to them because of that flour and we've also patted the filet dry. Kind of a mess. I should have just used one hand, but uh, hey, I'm a dude, so it is what it is, right? And we go into the cornmeal. Cornmeal flour mixture that has already been pre-seasoned. Pat that stuff down dry. There we go, baby. God, I cannot wait. The seasoning smells so good. Okay. Set it over there and just repeat the process. Can I wait, baby? The oil is up to temp and now we are going to add our fillets. We'll cook them for approximately a minute and a half on each side. Oh gosh, that smells so darn good already. Okay, time to flip. And just let that sit for about a minute, minute and a half. They are done now. We're gonna go ahead and put some paper towels on the drying rack.
There we go. Take a look at that guys. Golden brown fried crappie fillets. Oh my gosh, it's a proper southern meal right there getting ready to happen. I already know this is gonna taste really, really good. Uh, I've made it before, but uh, let me just pretend that I've never done this before and uh, give you guys a good show. So here we go. Nice, hot, flaky. Oh, look at that flaky crappie. Mmm, it's so good. Fresh okra. Every time I eat this, just makes me think of being back home. Oh my gosh. This is a really good meal, guys. <clears throat> Is so so good. All right, I don't even know why I'm trying to be a proper gentleman. I'm anything but. Use my fingers to eat fish the way we eat it back home. That is so darn good. Definitely try this out. It is really good. Can't beat it. Fresh too. Just caught earlier today. This is a really good meal. <clears throat> All right, let me stop stuffing my face. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you like the video, give me that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, tight lines. So good. Come on, son. You've served your purpose in life. You've reached the ultimate goal in your life, which is to please us humans with these tender, juicy white meat fillets. So sweet, so good.